rant because I had mentioned on your show that, you know, I wish that women would support each other more, in particular, super, super influential women. It seems that 2020 has been rather big on revealing to us the true character of people. From a soon-to-be former president who clearly didn't know how to handle big situations in the country he ran, from a former superhero and forever king who showed his inner strength in the face of incredible pain, and of course, a daytime talk show host who showed she wasn't really what she proclaimed she was. We speak, of course, of Ellen DeGeneres, the talk show icon who throughout 2020 has been getting put through the shredder, as it were, by various people exposing her character. Though some of them have been trying to warn us about her for some time. Allow us to show you eight celebrities who tried to warn us about Ellen DeGeneres. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number eight, Brad Garrett. Let's start with a celebrity who had no personal beef with Ellen, and after the various scandals about Ellen and her producers came out, he decided to speak up and try to tell people what was going on. We speak, of course, of famous actor and comedian Brad Garrett. This all started when Ellen made her first apology via statement to her crew and staff, stating that she was sorry that her producers had gone and abused the power she had given to them. The apology sounded sincere, but Brad knew better. Sorry, but it comes from the top at The Ellen Show, Garrett wrote. The actor continued to say that he knew more than one person who was treated horribly by DeGeneres, adding that her behavior was common knowledge. Brad Garrett is not the kind of guy to stir up the pot unnecessarily. What's more, he's right that if your name is on the brand like Ellen's is, you can't pass the buck. The buck stops with you. There are many things ironic about Garrett's revelation, not the least of which was his common knowledge line about Ellen's behavior. If everyone knew, then how was it that it took until 2020 for it to be revealed to the world at large? What was the motivation behind that? As it would turn out, celebrity loyalty is apparently stronger than justice for those who are abused. Because only a few celebrities spoke out against Ellen while many legions more told her not to take it and not to let it stop her from doing her show. Kind of shows the mindset of certain people, don't you think? Number 7. Nikki DeJager If you're not familiar with Nikki DeJager, that's okay. She's a famous YouTuber who does all sorts of things on her channel. And not unlike many other YouTubers who have gotten a certain amount of fame, she was invited on to Ellen, and she was ready to have a great time from start to finish. But, maybe I'm being naive, but I expected them to welcome me with confetti. Welcome to the Ellen DeGeneres show, she said in the interview seen by Pop Crave. But instead I got greeted by an angry intern who was a bit overworked. I expected a Disney show, but I got a Teletubbies after dark. Which is an image we can all agree we didn't need to think about, so thanks for that. But the irony is that her perceptions weren't the only thing being shattered. Every guest at Ellen had a private toilet, but I didn't, she said. I couldn't even use the closest toilet to me because it was reserved for the Jonas Brothers. This was strange, she said, because her videos got a lot more views on YouTube than theirs did. They were allowed, but I wasn't, she said. My interview got 8 million views while theirs only got 2 million. Ha! But surely the host herself was good, right? Wrong. Let me say that there's a big difference between this show and Ellen DeGeneres. And I'm saying that in favor of this show, DeJager said, according to a translation by YouTuber T account, Sebastian Williams. It's nice that you say hi before the show. She didn't. This trend would continue with another young starlet, number six, Corinne Olympios. When model Corinne Olympios went on to Ellen's show, thrilled to be seeing Ellen for the first time, she found herself severely disappointed by her experience overall which is definitely a buzzkill. After going on the show, she later did an interview with The Morning Breath and admitted that she was very shocked by how Ellen not only acted on her show behind the scenes, but that overall she was made to feel uncomfortable by Ellen, which she clarified by noting that she was a big fan of Ellen going into the show, and yet by the end of it, she had mixed feelings, which is yet another clear-cut warning about how Ellen isn't how she appears on camera. Whether it be her antics, her jokes, and so on, she pushes lines, and yet people either don't care or they're not willing to do anything about it for one reason or another. That's kind of sad, don't you think? Because for people like Nikki and Corrine, this should have been a highlight of their lives, being able to go on to a major show like Ellen, and yet it turned into something they probably would rather forget. Not cool. Number 5. Drew Barrymore This one is ironic for all sorts of reasons. Because as you likely know, Ellen isn't just the host of her daytime talk show, 
She hosts other things as well, including her popular game show, Game of Games. But before then, she was asked to do a show called First Dates with a co-host and actress Drew Barrymore. The premise was to make fun of the awkwardness of first dates and see how people handle them. It was simple and it could have ran for a long time. Except, Drew and Ellen clashed a lot behind the scenes. Apparently, the two each wanted control over what the other did and where the show went in general. They were compared to oil and water, and thus things were tense both on set and behind the scenes. As such, the show only lasted one season, and it's not hard to see why. And while Drew Barrymore isn't squeaky clean in this situation, neither is Ellen, who's shown time and time again to want complete control of everything she does. Number 4. Kathy Griffin this particular thing was first seen as a beef, but now is a lot more of a revelation given everything that's been going on with Ellen. You see, Kathy Griffin and Ellen have a beef that goes back years. From them feuding about how to pay respect to the late Joan Rivers, Kathy did, Ellen didn't, to an alleged beef about Ellen kicking Kathy out of a dressing room at the Emmys, and so on. Kathy even wrote a book about Hollywood dirt, and in it, she inferred that Ellen was basically a tyrant when she was the host of certain award shows, and that seems to line up with all that happened on Ellen's show. Because she would boss around everyone in such a way that it was basically abusive. So while Kathy was treated as having sour grapes before, it kind of looks like a warning now, doesn't it? Number 3. Dakota Johnson Ellen has shown her mean spirit multiple times on camera, not the least of which was when Dakota Johnson was on her show one time. She had just had a birthday party and Ellen was miffed that she wasn't invited and called Dakota out on that. Except, Dakota noted she was invited and Ellen didn't even give a reason why she didn't show up. Ellen's producer revealed that she had a scheduling conflict and Ellen tried to play it off but failed hard and Dakota took her to town on it. It was a cheap move on Ellen's part to do that and she got her just desserts as a result. Number 2. Kelly Ripa at one point in time, the biggest show on daytime TV was live with Kelly and Michael. But when Michael Strahan left, many were wondering what went on, especially as rumors swirled that it was a personal thing between the two that broke them up. All the other talk shows didn't touch Michael after he left out of respect for Ripa, except Ellen, who literally had him on days after the split. Ripa was furious and blasted Ellen for doing it, and it was indeed a party foul that many should have picked up on in terms of her proof of unsavory character. Number 1. Mariah Carey Arguably the most tragic entry on this list, Mariah Carey was someone who was supposed to just be on Ellen's show for fun. But Ellen decided to try and get breaking news by tricking Mariah into asking if she was pregnant or not. She was, but she didn't want to say on TV just yet. But Ellen wanted that scoop, so she brought out some wine for them to drink, and Mariah was put into a precarious position as she wasn't sure what to do. The whole interview was both awkward and evil, as that shouldn't have happened at all. And it's made worse when you remember that Mariah lost her child by a miscarriage not long after, and that interview haunted her as a result. So what do you think? What do you think about this look at the various celebrities who have gone and tried to warn us about Ellen DeGeneres, but no one listened or heeded their advice? Can you believe how many people have spoken out about her, and yet no one really did anything about it? Was it because we believed that Ellen was so kind that this kind of thing was impossible? What do you think Ellen's real future is post-scandal? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.